Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome back to the lesson. Remember we are still looking at molar solutions and in the previous lesson we were discussing about molarity. And we saying that molarity refers to the number of moles per liter of a solution. Molarity refers to the number of moles per liter of a solution. And we did examples and I left two questions which you are to do. And in this lesson, I want, uh, I want us now to go through the two questions and see whether you've done them correctly. Question number one was determine the molarity of a solution containing 10.6 grams of sodium carbonate dissolved in A, 250 centimeters cubed of distilled water, B, 500 centimeters cubed of distilled water. Number one, we are first supposed to get the relative formula mass of sodium carbonate. So this is how we are to go about them. The relative formula mass of sodium carbonate is given by or is 23, that is the mass of sodium times 2 plus the mass of carbon which is 12 plus the mass of oxygen which is 16 and there are 3 atoms. This is 46 plus 12 plus 48, which gives us 106. So 106 is the relative formula mass of sodium carbonate. Hundred and sixty is the relative formula mass of sodium carbonate. Then we'll we'll go into we'll go into now getting the number of moles number of moles which are given by mass divided by the molar mass. The mass is 10.6 divided by the molar mass which is 106 then this we are going to get Zero point one. Zero point one mole. Those are now the number of moles of sodium carbonate. Remember, we're doing the first one. These ones were dissolved in two hundred and fifty of distilled water, and therefore we just say that zero point one moles. These ones were contained, or they are contained in two hundred and fifty centimeters cubed of distilled water. Then how many moles will there be in one liter? And one liter is 1,000 centimeters cubed of distilled water. Therefore, this will be 1,000 times, you cross multiply, times 0 0.1 divided by 250 and this will be 0 0.4 therefore the concentration will be 0 0.4 mole per dm cubed or 0 0.4 molar 0 0.4 moles per dm cubed or decimeter cubed or 0 0.4 molar. It should be capital M. If you write small m, then that is not right. Therefore, that is how you're supposed to go about question 
number 1 number 1 a therefore number b number b was because the difference is that the solutions were they are contained in a it was contained in 250 centimeters cubed of distilled water and b it was contained in 500 centimeters cubed of distilled water therefore the number of moles are the same the only difference will be now the molarity number of moles they still gotten as they still 10.6 divided by 106 is giving us 0 0.1 mole then 0 0.1 mole these ones are contained in 500 centimeters cubed of distilled water they now what about 1000 centimeters cubed this will be 1000 times 0 0.1 divided by 500 And this will be 0 0.2 mole per dm cubed or 0 0.2 molar 0 0.2 mole per dm cubed or 0 0.2 molar capital m that is how you're supposed to go about question number one question number two The question number two was when 34.8 grams of potassium sulfate were dissolved in 500 centimeters cubed distilled water, then calculate the concentration of potassium sulfate in grams per liter and second, molarity of the solution. Number two, this is how you would go about it. We first of all get the concentration in moles per liter. And the concentration would be so easy. In 2-1, you just say that 34.8 grams, these ones are contained in 500 centimeters cubed. Then how many or how many grams will be in 1,000 centimeters cubed? So how many grams of potassium sulfate will be contained in 1,000? Therefore, it will be 34.8 times 1,000 you divide by 500. And this will be 69.6 69.6 grams per liter that is the concentration of potassium sulfate in grams per liter if 34.8 grams are contained in 500 centimeters cubed then how many grams are contained in one liter therefore just like you multiply by two 69.6 in second the molarity of the solution for us to be able now to calculate the morality then we need the rfm first rfm of potassium of potassium sulfate <clears throat> the rfm of potassium sulfate we have the relative atomic masses potassium is 39 it will be 39 times 2 because of the two atoms then you add mass of sulfur which is 32 you add mass of oxygen which is 16 times 4 then you now be able to get the relative formula mass this is that 9 times 2 is 78 plus 32 plus 16 times 4 is 64 
Then when you add those, when you add 78 plus 32 plus 64, then it's now giving you 174. 174, this is the RFM of potassium sulfate. Therefore, we now get the number of moles. The number of moles are given by mass, you divide by the molar mass. The mass is 34.8. It's now 34.8 divided by 174. This will give you 0 0.1955 0 0.1955 mole that because it's now molarity and you are saying that molarity is the number of moles contained in one liter you just say that 0 0.1955 are contained In 500 centimeters cubed of distilled water. Then now what about 1,000 centimeters cubed? And this will be 1,000 times 0 0.1955 divided by 500. And therefore, molarity will be Zero point three nine one. Zero point three nine one mole per dm cubed. All zero point three nine one molar. It is as simple as that. Zero point three one. Zero point three nine one mole per dm cubed. All per decimeter cubed. All zero point three nine one molar. If that is now what you got, then uh, well done. And right now I want to give you some more questions. You practice on calculation of concentration, molarity, and getting the mass and all that. Therefore, I'll leave you with these questions. That is the assignment. There are five questions. Question number one, calculate the number of moles of sodium carbonate present in 100 centimeters cubed of two molar sodium carbonate solution. Question number two, calculate the mass of sulfuric six acid in 250 centimeters cubed of a solution whose concentration is 0 0.25 mole per decimeter cubed. Question number three, calculate the A, number of moles present in 25 centimeters cubed of 0 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide solution. B, mass in grams present in 25 centimeters cubed of a 0 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Question number four. Calculate the number of moles of sodium chloride in 500 centimeters cubed of three molar sodium chloride solution. And five. Calculate the mass of calcium chloride required to make one liter of 0 0.2 molar calcium chloride solution. Therefore, attempt those questions.
And in the next lesson, we are going to discuss how to prepare molar solution or preparation of molar solutions. See you in the next lesson. Thank <music> you.